Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Anna and I'm a little bit spooky and today we are playing with some drugstore makeup. We got some new stuff, we got some old favorites, some little bit of everything. And yeah, the hair is wild and crazy. I got my Jennifer Connelly, no, Eugene Levy brows going. We talk all about that and we talk a little bit about some makeup and what's been going on this week and if you want to see how I got this look playing with some drugstore products and chat a little bit just go ahead and keep on watching but before you do like and subscribe comment down below let me know some new drugstore products you're interested in and I'll add them to my shopping list without further ado let's get into the makeup we're gonna be playing with some new stuff from the drugstore Mostly from Wet n Wild and some old favorites, of course, because I didn't pick up a new eyeshadow palette from the drugstore. Like, I got foundation, highlighter, lip product, mascara, but I did not get, uh, I didn't see any eyeshadow palettes I was feeling right now. But, oh yeah, I've got a new setting spray. Like, all kinds of new goodies to play with. Let's, uh, go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna start with the eyes. I've already primed my eyes with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. And used it to kind of shape up my brows and everything and then I put the Milani eyeshadow primer on like the crease of my lid and the mobile part because I do get a lot of creasing and I found this combination works fantastically for me. For eyes I'm going to use something I haven't reached for in a long time which is super affordable. This is the Perfusion Sunkiss palette. I don't know if this particular palette is still available but they have a lot of Kind of similar palettes on the market and I found this one I think last year at Walmart last spring and I'm hoping that they have some new ones in when I go because all we have is like a little random end cap sometimes of new ones we don't have like the perfusion section yet which I'm hoping for none of my Walmarts have that don't ask me the names of any of these because I can't read them so we're just gonna take the bone shade in the top corner I'm just gonna use this to hit the brow bone because I do like this part of my lid to be set just because it aids in blending. So now my background looks a little messy right now and this chair's a bit in the way, but I got a new dresser that's gonna live behind me. We're gonna have a new background soon. I just have to refinish the dresser. It's an antique mid-century piece that my friend was getting rid of and I was like, it was just sitting in her garage and I was like, what you gonna do with that? And she was like, you want it? And I was like, hell yeah, I want that. So I'm gonna paint it kind of a semi-matte black and put some, maybe some gold trim on it, I'm not sure. It's got like tons of storage space in it. It's beautiful. The drawers pull out smooth. It's perfect condition. It just needs a little bit of love. Like structurally, it's in perfect condition. There's a few scratches and stuff and I'm just gonna buff it and paint it to match everything else I own that's black. That's what I do. I take people's antiques and I paint them black and make people angry. We're gonna go into like a transition shade. There's this nice kind of mustardy one in the middle here. They go into it, run that through the transition area. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, so yesterday we spent urgent care almost two hours, hour and a half. My husband has got the flu. Somehow I have not gotten sick. I don't know how, because my god, I didn't think he had the flu. I thought he had just sinus stuff, but he caught the flu from our friend who was visiting. Yeah, I thought he was just having another sinus infection because he just got over one and he's had such terrible allergies. It's a guy who probably just need to go to the ENT and really get your sinus allergy stuff taken care of because his allergy's been just awful. So, nope, it's the flu. But while we were there, they did a chest x-ray, make sure he didn't have pneumonia because he's coughing, wheezy, sounded terrible, has a middle of sleep, like really sick. He didn't have pneumonia or anything, but they did give him a breathing treatment, an inhaler, and so much medicine. Tamiflu, or like a new kind of Tamiflu, a Z-Pack, like, the gambit because of the other sign of stuff going on. All right, I'm going to go into the darker brown. The oil is kind of the darkest brown in the palette. I'm going to take that lower in the crease on a little fluffy brush. I've had like a headache, but I think I had the headache before the flu stuff happened. I've just had kind of a dull headache because I'm having allergy stuff. But I haven't had any flu symptoms yet anyway. It's been long enough for me to be presenting symptoms, I would believe. Thank goodness. My raw ball is in two days. I can't get sick and miss it, especially the flu. But I'm trying to not, I don't want to pass germs if I have them because I might just be like carrying it, carrying it and not be symptomatic. Yeah, most uh, everybody around this area have the, has the flu. Like my Facebook feed is just a check-in of who's got the flu right now. I don't know, it spread like wildfire this season. 
We were supposed to do like wedding planning stuff last night for my other friend, but she's got she's sick too and didn't know she has a flu maybe. Her whole family's sick and it's god everybody's sick. My other friend's kids are just getting over sickness. I'm just building this brown. This is like the deepest brown on the palette. It's kind of a dark camel shade. But uh, Tuesday night we celebrated my nephew's 12th birthday. He wanted to go get sushi for his birthday. That kid loves sushi. So yeah, we did that. And him and his sister were born like a week apart, I think. Not far apart. So I went ahead and gave them both their presents. I got him a Harry Potter Voldemort and Harry Potter standoff. Like the scene where they fight in the graveyard. It's that set, a Lego set of that, that he can put together. And his mom got him the night bus. It's so cute. He's gotten into Harry Potter finally, and so we're both happy about that. And he's into reading now too, so I gave him my copies of The Hunger Games. They're kind of long reads, but they're not hard reads. So I thought he might could get into them, because he likes to read now, so I was like, well, this is something to keep him busy. He seemed quite tickled over them. He's like, thank you so much for The Hunger Games. Yeah, that kid ate a massive doll roll, which I don't know if it's the same in every restaurant. But it's this big roll with shrimp tempura in it and king crab on top. Like, it's massive. Massive roll. He ate, I think, half of that and then ate half a special California roll. Like, he is serious about his sushi. He can use chopsticks and everything. And he's been that way for a long time. And he used to be such a picky eater that I was really surprised that he loves California rolls so much. Or sushi at all so much. Because this was a kid that would only eat macaroni and cheese and chicken nuggets forever. And like, and steak. He loves steak. And that's it. His sister, she's still just chicken nuggets and french fries. She won't try sushi. I tried to give her some of mine, she's going, mm, no. But I got her a little manicure pedicure kit, some lip glosses, and I had an elf makeup bag I gave her that was pink and I put some brushes in it that I had that I just didn't need. Usually if I declutter like brushes or like some lipsticks or something that aren't they haven't expired, I give them to her. So I added that with some other nail polishes because I already had like a little bag of stuff to give her anyway going. So she, she had a bunch of stuff. Here's some sticky notes, a bunch of stickers, pen, a notepad, just stationary makeup, stuff that I would love. <laughs> so I'm sure she'll like it too. All right, I'm gonna go into the shade called Topaz, which looks really interesting. It is a kind of a brown shade with some gold reflect in it. I want to put that on the lid. It's kind of a dark look. I know we're going in spring, but I don't care. So I'm going to pop that onto the lid. I'm trying not to hunch down to my mirror like I've been doing. Oh, that color is pretty. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it's got kind of a little bit of a green in it. Oh, I love it. This Perfusion palette actually has some beautiful, like kind of nuanced shades in them. They're very high-end-esque. <laughs> like just the complexity in them for such a cheap price point impressive quality. The only thing I don't like about this Perfusion palette or any ones I've tried is the smell. They smell like cheap eyeshadow, but if you can get past that, that it just has that kids makeup smell or something. Otherwise, they are quite lovely. Like, I didn't even have to wipe my brush and that just went on. That's awesome. I touched up my roots last night and uh, I bought dark brown, like just a root touch up kit. It comes with a little brush and stuff just because I didn't have time to do anything and I've just been putting it off. I personally don't enjoy dyeing my hair that much it, or like using box dyes and stuff but I, I was kind of in a pickle. I needed to get it done. My roots were like two inches long because I just put it off. Yeah, it looked like blue black when I was putting it on my hair and I was like, oh no, this said dark brown. What is this? Oh, oh, oh no. So it is quite dark but it, I think it looks good. I think I did a good job blending it into my ombre that was already there, my balayage. And I quite like the, uh, I think I like the shade. Yeah, it's just one of those little 10 minute root touch up hair dye sets, which I think are stupidly priced because they're like the same price as buying a full box of dye. It didn't occur to me until after I bought it. And you're getting a quarter of the product because it's just for root touch ups and you get a little silly brush. I actually used a little brush. I, it, was, it actually came in handy. It's a cute little brush. I might keep it, but I forgot. Like, they didn't give me any gloves. They did. They were in the instructions. I just forgot to take them out. So I had black hands. They still look a little stained, of course. <laughs> but I forgot about the gloves and just went in and started coloring my hair. So I had to like scrub my hands to get that clean. This color is everything. Hell yeah. So pulling a little more gold though. I think I'm going to go into this top gold. Okay, I'm taking the gold called Zenith, maybe. I don't know. Or it might be headlight. <laughs> I, I don't know. 
it doesn't matter. I think I'm gonna pop that kind of the inner bit right here just for a little oomph. Yeah, that looks quite cool. Yes. Pretty easy eye look, huh? They got a lot of new drugstore goodies, just no eyeshadow. I just haven't seen any that really uh, call my name lately. Like I know Maybelline's got the new nude one out. I, I don't, I'm just, I'm not a, that big into nude eyeshadows. That main neutrals, like I have them. I don't need repeats of them. Ooh, yeah, this is pretty. I'm digging it. I'm gonna go back and smell a fluffy brush here and jump in back into that deepest brown. Just kind of amp that up a little bit. Just around that contour of the eye. Like these mattes in this palette are freaking phenomenal. If the quality is like this across the map for Perfusion eyeshadows, girl, they need to be in every store. Damn, they are good. The camel or the mustardy one again. Just pretty much everything's blended. Even though I don't need to, I'm just obsessive blender. And that is the eyeshadow complete. Wow. Let's do a little eyeliner. I do. I have a new liquid liner from Rummel that I want to play with. It is like an emerald green shade. I don't know if that will go with this look. No, it is way too cool toned. Yeah, I'm gonna save that for another look. But it, I, this is one of those products I got. I found the more clearance stuff at the other Walgreens. <laughs> so you know, we have like two Walgreens within five miles of me. There's a Walgreens in every corner. And I found some more really cheap makeup, uh, clearance makeup. And this is a Wonder Swipe 2-in-1. Oh, liner to shadow, ooh. You can do multiple things with it. Cool. But this is just in a pretty olive green. I should have got the, the gold too. I didn't grab the gold. They were a dollar. I'm gonna go ahead and do some liquid liner. I'm gonna use a brown today, I think. I'm gonna use this one from Wet n Wild. I don't know why these little Wet n Wild pens are so easy to use, but the packaging is not great. Like, I, they break. <laughs> Super easy. A little spring on them breaks on the lid. This one has survived a really long time though. Every time I get a black one, it dies and breaks and like, I can't get the lid to stay on. I mean, like, I never have to clean up my wings when I use these. It just goes on perfect. I mean, they're not the most long wear or anything. I think the, uh, this one from Wet uh, L'Oreal, the cat, Flash Cat Eye, is absolutely phenomenal. All right, let's go ahead and finish up the eyes and then I'm gonna go off camera and do foundation because I'm doing a review of foundation for another video, I'm gonna prime the, my under eyes with my Milani Conceal Perfect Concealer, just right up under here. I don't, this concealer works great as an eye primer. It's something about the texture and the formula of it. I love it for that, but it's, this I believe is the lightest shade and it is way too yellow for me. It's pure ivory, but it does a fantastic job just for this. And I mean, it's getting covered with eyeshadow and everything else. Oh, and yeah, hardly any fallout from this perfusion palettes, by the way. But you know, I usually, I've got clean out fallout like crazy and have a mess under my eyes. Not with those. Virtually no fallout. See, their performance is damn near high end, if not it is high end. I probably got some eye bags going because I've been pulling an all nighter today. I've been up since, I think I got up like 10 o'clock last night because I took a nap because my schedule is all wonky from my sleep. I just haven't been able to sleep good. So it's like, it's eight in the morning right now and I need to do, I'm doing a full day wear test as well. So to give myself incentive to stay awake because ugh, I need to get back to my day schedule because I got important things to do and I just stab myself in the eye. I need to be a productive human during daylight hours <laughs> and not just at 3 a.m. Okay, so under the eye, I'm gonna take this little short shader brush from BH Cosmetics. Wow, I thought of what a brush was called immediately. Didn't have to stare at it and go, uh, this weird little brush, whatever. I'm so bad at like just <laughs> remembering what brushes are called. I have a whole guide to eye brushes that I wrote on my blog. Top of my head, I'm like, oh, I don't know this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna go strictly into that camel color that we used in the crease, and I'm just gonna run it along the lower lash line. It's loosey goosey. So here's a question for you guys. How many of y'all are in Instagram engagement groups? I'm in like eight of them because the Instagram algorithm apparently hates me, and my reach is like, was terrible on there. It's like, I was reaching like 100 people maybe. And now I'm reaching like 500, but still I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Like, am I not using the right hashtags? What? What is the, the magic key to Instagram? Does anybody know? I feel like engagement groups have been helping me out quite a bit on IG anyway. And on here, I have one group that I'm in for YouTube. Hi, all my YouTube uh, engagement group friends. Right, so just blending that out. So, no, that just blended so effortlessly. Yeah, the um, engagement groups, man, they're pretty awesome. Most of them are pretty chill. Um, 
one of them you have to send proofs of your saves to, which I don't mind because I always just out of habit save everybody's picture because that really does apparently help with algorithm. But I have to remember to save it to a certain folder so we can show that we did it. And I'm like, God, I hope none of my other groups go to that because it's so annoying like to remember to do it and to have more than one folder of things to save stuff to is going to be a pain in the ass. Especially since in some of the groups, some of the same people, you know? And some of the same things, like multiple folders, I guess. Can't people just follow the rules of the group? I mean, it's not like the rules are that hard. It's engagement stuff that you're supposed to do anyway. Like, why are you in the group if you're not doing it? I don't know, that's the Capricorn in me. Stickler. I don't ever really say anything about it, like to call people out or anything, but inwardly I'm just like, Because <sighs> the mods in our groups are usually really on it. Especially the one that we've seen the proofs to, like that. The moderator bit, she is on point in the IG group. I mean, the uh, YouTube engagement group. I've made some great friends in that group, actually. Like, people are, thoroughly enjoy their content and everything, and I'm so happy that I'm in the group because I wouldn't have found them otherwise, probably. And I'm just really smoking out that lower lash line. Okay, so I went ahead and did my foundation because it was a demo for another video. But I'll go ahead and tell you what I use. I use the Wetmold Photo Focus Dewey. We're testing her out today. So far, so good. And I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the lightest shade. This is such a fantastic concealer. It very much reminds me of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. In coverage, formula, just about everything. I'm gonna use my little baby Sony Kashuk sponge here to blend her in. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me because it's a tried and true trusted product. I'm just gonna take this on brush to start with and just set. Highlight, I have something new from Wet n Wild. This is the Hello Halo Highlighting Duo. It's a blush highlighter duo. And see, it has a peachy tone and a more icy pinky white tone. This is Highlight Bling shade. And yeah, I think we're gonna use this for our highlight today. This I use more as a blush topper, more of a broader highlight rather than just a blush because it is quite shiny. So I'm just gonna take my regular little highlight brush I use. And we're gonna go into the peachy shade first. You can swirl these together, use them separately. They are so pretty and they have quite a few shades. I'm just gonna take this kind of where I would apply blush, but a little bit higher, kissing it across the cheeks. Like, well, that does add a nice blush, actually. I was thinking it was more sheer. That's, that's really pretty. I'm still gonna put on blush though. Why am I making a face? I don't need to make a face for this. I love a little bl blush on the nose. I think that's so cute. I'm such an e-girl. All right, and we're gonna take the lightest highlight part shade and hit the higher points of the face. Like, oh, that is such a beautiful glow. This, it's such a good highlighter. Wet n Wild knows what they are doing with highlighters, if anything, man. Wet n Wild lip products, highlighters, bronzers, complexion products, they are on point lately with that. I mean, their eyeshadows even, except for like the limited edition eyeshadows, they tend to suck, but I am really intrigued by Bretman Rock's new collab with Wet n Wild. It's coming out. He's doing a little eyeshadow palette with him. I would like to uh, test its quality and see how it goes. Do a little bit on the nose. I like a little bit of nose highlight. Okay. Touch on the chin. And we're just going to swirl into both lightly and hit right around here on the forehead. I love it. Love this Hello Halo little duo. It's so good. And I feel like they, uh, the packaging is a little bit more substantial than it the others like it's still roughly the same type of packaging i just feel like it's a little bit better quality you know what blush i feel like would be perfect for today good old luminoso from milani just, it's a classic i feel weird without contour i feel like something's missing on my face i'm gonna use the uh, wet n wild micro brow tidy them up a little i tinted them last night so they are looking dark and full you never realize how many brow hairs you have until you tint your brows I have very full brows. They're just incredibly blonde. You can't see them. And they have little bald patches on them. Then filled in with some pomade earlier. So I'm just tidying things up with this. Yeah, if you've never tinted your brows, it's a game changer. <laughs> Talk about having some good brows. I also quit trimming my brows. I'm just letting them grow. And I just kind of pluck a little bit that's like stray hairs that are way out of the way. Actually, I should not pluck them. I shave them off. Because I may want them stray hairs one day. I don't know. Plucking is a commitment. Jump in with my setting spray. This is the e.l.f. Dewy Set Mist. Our setting mist. Give it a little shake. I don't love the smell of it because it's coconut. I don't like coconut smell. But this is a really good setting or refreshing 
She's got a powerful pump on her, so just be warned. But this is a lovely, lovely setting spray. It doesn't necessarily help with longevity or anything, but it leaves your skin looking so fresh and so happy and nice. And for lips, I have a new product. This is from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Last Stained Glass Lip Gloss. I, I love these. Um, I have another shade that's like a plummy color or like a berry. It's so beautiful that I went out and bought another one. Uh, this is the shade Reflective Kisses, I think is what that says. This one's a little bit more of a warmer, pinky. Uh, oh, you'll see it. <laughs> these are so pretty and such a lovely little formula. They have beautiful pigmentation and they're not necessarily like full on glossy unless you really build it up, but it does have like a nice satin gloss finish, like more like a glossy lipstick rather than like a lip gloss. And that's how they feel on the lips. They're kind of cooling when they go on and then they kind of dry down over time and will leave your lips with the most beautiful, vibrant stain. This one really does have a really pretty stain it leaves behind and I really like it. Like they feel like nothing on your lips though and they look very full and kind of juicy at the same time. Great product. And let's move on. I'm gonna go ahead and do some mascara, which I also have a new mascara to try out. This is the Maybelline, the Falsies Lash Lift. So we're gonna see how she does today. It's my first time using it as well. Very excited. Oh, I guess I should curl my lashes. <laughs> I always curl lashes. So I'm just gonna give them a little light curl. All right, let's go with this mascara. Okay, we've got, what, the hourglass shaped wand to go in. Kind of reminiscent of Lash Paradise. And this is not waterproof formula or anything like that. I don't like waterproof mascaras. I had a bad experience and I don't ever want to use them again. Ooh, this is really nice. Hello, lashes. Hey, ladies. Where have you guys been? That looks really, this is a nice mascara. So one coat, I'm like, oh, hell yeah. I like it. Now yeah, we'll have to see throughout the day if it's a flaky formula or anything like that. And I'll update you on my blog about that. So I'll probably do a review of this on my blog. Oh yeah, this is lovely. Very Lash Paradise-esque. And my lower lashes look insane. I love that. Yeah, this is a fantastic mascara so far. I I'm really enjoying it. I did just post a review and before after pictures using the Maybelline Snapscara on my blog. If you're interested, I will have that linked below. Yeah, I usually review like mascaras and like individual small products like that that you can't really do a whole devoted video on on my blog. And I like the way this lip product is sitting on my lips. I think it feels really nice. It's not going everywhere or anything. It's staying put. Good stuff. All right, and now let's go ahead and set my brows real quick. Yeah, I just got this little guy from Rimmel. This is the wonderful brow, brow set and gel stuff. Waterproof brow mascara with fibers. I like these kind of products. Oh, this is like very much a benefit type of product, that little spoolie guy. Let's just go in lightly. I took off a lot of the excess, excess product on the tube here. Brush these little bad boys up. That is a good brow gel. Look at the, look at them brows. These brows lately. I think it's because I've been putting castor oil in them, I think. And they are growing like crazy and looking so full. That and tinting them. I'm having a brow renaissance. Brows for days. Those look great. That's awesome. So brows I've dreamed of. Okay, I'm gonna go judge my hair and we'll be right back for the finished look. Okay, and this is the finished look using some new drugstore products and my old drugstore favorites. We're letting the hair just do as she pleases these days. She got a mind of her own. And you know what? I'm liking it. She's got a mind of her own like my eyebrows do apparently. These Jennifer Conley eyebrows. Okay, more like Eugene Levy eyebrows, but I'll take it. <laughs> I've got some 80s hair going. This is what happens when my air, my hair just air dries. Apparently it's curly now and I'm not mad at it. I'm kind of half-assed curly girl and method it. Like I don't do the squish chicken dish really or anything to it. I just let her air dry. I like it. I think it looks good. So yeah, this is the uh, finished look. Used a perfusion palette on the eyes. It's a new drugstore lippy. It's crazy cool new brow products. And yeah, a fantastic mascara. And all in all, I like it. That sounds like my Uber is here, and by Uber I mean the trash pickup is here, so I need to go. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay spooky. Bye now.